you better stop doing this to close your mouth in pictures. Let me show you the better and honestly the perfect way to fix it. So without any further ado, let's get started. I've got this picture open right here. First go to the toolbar and pick the lasso tool. Then make a selection around the mouth just like this. Now press Ctrl and J to copy that selection to a new layer. Hide the main layer. Next grab the object selection tool and draw a circle around the teeth. Photoshop will automatically select them. Now hit the delete key to remove that area and press Ctrl and D to deselect. The selection won't be perfect so I'm grabbing the eraser tool to cleaning up that leftover area. Now go back to the toolbar and pick the lasso tool again. Then make a clean selection of the upper lip along with the upper skin area on the both sides. Now press Ctrl and X to cut it, then press Ctrl and Shift and V to paste it onto a new layer. Let's rename the layers upper lip and lower lip so it's clean. Select the lower lip layer and use the eraser tool to clean those uneven edges. Do the same on the upper lip layer. After that, grab the small tool and gently push the edges upward so the lips look smooth instead of sharp. Now select the lower lip, go to edit menu and select puppet warp. Now place the anchor points on the corners of the lips. This is important so the corners don't move when we adjust the lips. Then add points on the lip itself and start dragging upward to fill that empty space. Don't overdo it and don't fill the entire area. We still need the upper lip to complete the shape so it looks natural. Now select the upper lip layer. Go back to edit, pop it warp. And repeat the process. Fill the remaining empty area but make sure you don't overlap the lower lip. Next select the upper lip and open liquify. Make sure show backdrop is on, reduce the opacity and pick the forward warp tool. Push the upper lip edges downward so they blend perfectly with the lower lip. It already looks amazing but we are not done yet. Grab this mod tool again and fix any uneven edges or rough spots. Do the same on the lower lip. Now create a new layer between the upper and lower lip. Select the brush tool with the black color and gently paint along the lower lip edges to create that natural shadow. Keep your brush size small. Now go to filter, blur and gaussian blur. Set the radius around 13 pixel. This depends on the image size but for this one 13 works well. Reduce the opacity a little. The shadow blends perfectly and create that natural separation between the lips. Use the eraser tool to clean any extra paint. Now select all the lip layers, group them and add a layer mask. Pick the brush tool again with the black as a foreground color and paint over any areas that don't match. And just like that, it disappears. And that's it guys, I hope you learned something new today, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.